Hello, my name is Don Ordez, and today I'll be demonstrating the rope dove technique, which I developed about 30 years ago in tying realistic stoneflies. As we go through the video, I'll be demonstrating the many advantages it has over standard dubbing techniques. You'll see that the technique is very fast, easy to master, and very flexible and variable over a wide range of materials. You'll see that your flies can be very strong tying on monofilament, bite tippet, or wire, and also that the looks will be served very well in segmentation, taper, color variations, and all-in-one pass. Also, you can add a hackle to your dubbing for very durable flies. at the bench and what I've done is laid out all the materials and a set of sample flies to look at. Uh, basically they go from a starting technique using different materials and flow through finished flies that you'd actually use for fishing. Now again the rope dub is a fundamental technique of tying and what tires do is adapt that technique to all the many different patterns that they want to tie and the looks and effects that each material gives you. Now that brings us to the types of materials that can be rope dubbed, which is basically anything that can be wrapped around a hook. Anything linear, anything synthetic, any type of fur can be used. And we'll go into the different techniques and how to use a raw fur on a dub, how to use marabou, how to use blended dubbing, how to use synthetics, how to use holographics and quick descent, how to use different feathers like peacock and pheasant, and how to use synthetic uh, hackle hackles like this to actually create flies as you see there. What we're doing now is looking at the fundamental tools that are required for the rope depth technique. From here forward is what I need for the fundamental technique. I have dubbing, I have a hook, I have thread, and then I have a scissors. Uh, that's all you need to start the rope dub technique. As we move along in different types of materials, we'll be using other tools and materials, and we'll be discussing those as we get into each pattern. But for right now, let's leave it with a dubbing, a vise, and a hook, a thread, and a scissors. <music> 